One of the iconic sites of Culebra here is the abandoned tank. Uh, all pictures I've seen of it has actually been up on the beach, but it uh, doesn't look like even like high tide, so I, I don't know what happened here. Maybe the beach eroded and it's no longer up on the beach like it was. But uh, a little pelican hanging out on top of it. We're going to get a little closer ourselves. Well, amazingly, there's uh, more than one here. So uh, maybe the one we're seeing down here on the beach is not the one on the famous iconic picture. But uh, I suspect that we're pretty well protected here on uh, Culebra. What do you think there, son? I feel really protected. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> Nothing's going to harm us. <laughs> well, if I was a tanker, I could tell you what kind of tank this is, but I'm not a tanker. Just in the signal core. So, uh, just have to take my word. Here's a big tank. Look at them all. So, I have to do a little uh, research and figure out why these tanks are abandoned here. So it's uh, something pretty big it happened to those tanks for the military to abandon them here. In 1901 to 1975, all of the public land on Culebra was used by the Navy. Beginning in 1936, it was used for bombing practice, particularly in pilot training for Vietnam. Protests began in 1970, and by 1975, the Navy ceased using and cleared out of Culebra. However, for whatever reason, they left behind the two M4 tanks, creating these distinctive scenes on one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified when we put out new videos. Hasta la vista, and may your suitcases always be messy.